Hi everybody, my name is Travis Brandner and I'm here with the awesome Cincinnati group Honeycombs. Hey. Honeycombs, will you please introduce yourselves to the people on YouTube who might not know who you are? Uh, we're actually called Honeycombs and Combo Slice and yeah, we're a Cincinnati indie pop band. Sister so duo. We both have stage names. Caitlin is Honeycombs, and I am Combo Slice. Our names mean a lot to us, and uh, it kind of shows how um, when we were both born, our parents joked that our names were going to be Honey. And our last name is Combs. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, if that happened, we could only be beekeepers. So that's why Caitlin chose the name Honey as her stage name. Honeycombs is her, and I'm Combo Slice because I begged for a stage name, and that's what someone <laughs> gave me, and I love it. It fits me perfectly because I tell jokes with my music that are original, and that's the combo, jokes and music. That is very awesome, and if you guys on YouTube couldn't tell, the resemblance between these women when they're next to each other is ridiculous. They're practically identical twins we get that a lot four years apart so what does it feel like to be in your band in your group in 2019 right now how does it feel well we got lucky enough to be born into this band so <laughs> i mean that's pretty good but it's feeling awesome we're more inspired than ever and we've written two songs this month already we're going into the studio on sunday in two days with, one of those. with John Raptus at Knob and Tube Records. Yeah, we've been working with an, this new producer, John Raptus. He's amazing. I love his vision for what our sound is going to be like. Um, over the past like two years, we've been dealing with a very serious injury from my sister, and that has greatly affected our music. For two years, we weren't able to play together a lot. I went solo, kind of missing you a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she was able to play again and felt more comfortable, <laughs> we've been writing about that experience of her accident and going through her recovery. That's really serious. I'm glad you're feeling better with all of that too. That's pretty rough what you went through. Um, it's, we can tell the people it was a car wreck. That's, it's not a secret, right? Yeah, absolutely. I was in a really bad car accident. Uh, compound fracture, both of my bones came through my arm and my wrist was shattered. It's starting to be graphic, but it took four surgeries and 12 months of physical therapy to repair and still combating a lot of that pain and writing about that as well because a lot of people deal with chronic pain and there's no music that reflects that. And it's really important to me to... Um, not only narrate my life through music, but really like just sing it out and express everything that we've gone through. We also got engaged. Sorry, not <laughs> jump in, but like she got engaged over the summer, and we've been writing. That's kind of like the opposite. Like you know, we dealt with great loss, and also this awesome event that's coming up in our life. So we're kind of writing about both of those polar opposites right now. Congratulations. I hope your arm. I hope your arm feels better. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank you. I love our next project. <laughs> so now that you guys are back and you're working again, and it sounds like you're going really hard, what is the goal for your band right now, and how is it different than what you did in the past? Our goal lately, I would say, is to make more music and make it more available online to be noticed. Uh, to not just sing to, you know, those empty coffee shops anymore. I've, I've grown as an artist, and I want to really have a message behind everything I do. And I want to have more visual medium. Um, that's something that I would really love to work with other people on and not just try to do myself. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your cameras rolling. Keep them on. <laughs> Wink. Do you have anything to add to that? Um, I definitely agree with we're just trying to make more music and focus on he having as many people hear that as possible. That's definitely the goal. So this album that I'm wearing this nice thing for is really cool. It's <laughs> my makeup is too expensive to cry. So 
Why are you crying and how much does this makeup cost? And can you explain what the process was through all of that? <laughs> we were crying for so many reasons. <laughs> I cry a lot and it's okay, it's healthy. Um, main reason, breakup, pain, um, general suffering, not having dogs around me at all times. Um, what's your favorite kind of makeup, Caitlin? Uh, lime crime for sure. Mm. Shout out Is to Is that the Jeffree Star one? That would be Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But okay. I mean, that's good too. Different. Yeah. Lime crime <laughs> is vegan makeup. It's super uh, pigmented. The packaging is super adorable. Like they make uh, like Polly Pocket makeup. Do you know what Polly Pockets yeah. are? You do? Great. It was, uh, it was micro machines. For guys, boys. <laughs> boys can like Polly Pockets. Sure, no, but, but it, I, it was geared towards me. They were little war things. <laughs> That's what I had. Nice. Polly Pockets of war. War! <laughs> no, but the name of our album actually came from... It was recorded by uh, our friend Ryan Barrier at his home studio. Uh, he's and in Valley of the Sun. He is in Valley of the Sun. Do you like Valley of the Sun? Yes. Great! Shout out to Valley of the Sun. Shout out Valley. They're touring this summer all over the West. But um, we were recording this. Courtney had some car trouble and just like a lot of bad things happened around one day on the way to the studio. And she just got there and like face fully beat and she was like recanting, just talking about everything bad that had happened. And Bitching she was like, it. but my makeup is too expensive to cry, so I'm not going to. And he was like, that's the name of the album. So, I mean, that's something she really said that was just like, that has to be it. <laughs> that's a really awesome creative direction, and I really like the aesthetic and everything that goes along with it in the album cover and everything. So, Honeycombs and Combo Slice, yes. you women are Cincinnati artists. What do you like best about the music scene here in Cincinnati? I love all the different songwriters and musicians that are just inspiring to me. Like, I go out and see shows all the time and I'm inspired to go home and write or inspired to look them up and I love that. I love being inspired. I like the different AV techs that we got around, uh, running sound for shows. It's so great. They're really listening and adapting in the moment of the song as well as, um, you know, just someone being there to listen and collaborate with you. So, like, fantastic. Some bars will just hand you a box and say, do it yourself. The more I talk to all of the local artists around here, the more I realize that even when they travel, they realize how special Cincinnati is and how great of a thing we have going. And I hope that we're all able to, like, band together and team up and lift everybody up and create this great thing. And maybe Cincinnati will be like the best tour spot in the future as we just keep working. The new Nashville, am I right? We need to make that happen. We need to write that down. We need to do something. Cincinnati, the new Nashville. Okay, she <laughs> said it first, so don't steal that. So can you just take a second and shout out your favorite Cincinnati artists and bands and people? Absolutely. Let's um, start with the ones we're in. Shout out to our other bands, Minotones and Ficus. So, yeah. And our favorite shows to go see, I love Sun Nights at the Comet. Great improv set. Since I bands, Blossom Hall, Heavy Hinges. Freedom Nicole Moore. Freedom. Quiet Sounds of Quayla. And Apple Gates. We love you. Yeah, we love you. Life Brother. Is there anything you want to say to YouTube before we wrap it up? Listen to my makeup is too expensive to cry. Because your makeup is too expensive to cry. You bought it. You paid for it. Don't cry it off. <laughs> Honeycombs and com Combo Slice, thank you for talking to me. Everybody listen to My Makeup is Too Expensive to Cry. Follow these nice ladies on Instagram and all the other social media. And thanks for talking to me, guys. See you later. Yeah, thanks for having me.